I think probably Charles Dickens' best book was a book called Bleak House, uh, which uh, starts with um, the tale of uh, a legal case called Jarndyce and Jarndyce, which has gone on for generations and generations to the point that nobody actually knows what the case is about anymore. Uh, and, uh, but one thing is clear in Jarndyce and Jarndyce is that the lawyers are making an absolute fortune out of the whole thing, such that uh, the original issue and any monies that might have arisen out of it will all be hoovered up uh, by the legal profession and the reason for the case starting will, be, uh, will fade into the mists of time. And that kind of is the problem. Uh, with this now, because on the one hand, the site serve uh, issue and the I IBRC site serve issue is something that we do need truth and clarity on, uh, because there's a lot at stake in it. But these costs cannot be allowed to escalate to a point where they are far in excess. Uh, if some of the figures being bandied around are uh, are, are credible, then the sums of money that were actually being investigated by the investigation. That would be bizarre and unacceptable, I think, to the public. So it would be interesting to hear what the Taoiseach okay, has to say on that front. You have up to five minutes, Taoiseach, because I'm going to try and keep it. Uh, th th thanks, thanks, Carl. I, I can be shorter than that on, on this occasion. This is, this is a commission investigation, and um, I need to be careful what I say about it. Uh, just in relation to former Deputy uh, Dara Murphy, I answered a question on this earlier. Um, but I can confirm that the standards uh, of office, standards, standards commission, the standards um, in public office commission uh, can investigate a former member in relation to their conduct as a member. Uh, and Deputy Mur or former Deputy Murphy, Murphy has said that he is willing to cooperate fully uh, with any statutory investigation, uh, and I believe he should do so, uh, and said that to him last night. Um, in terms of the Craigan Commission, uh, this uh, was a commission of investigation established by the Dáil. Um, it was uh, demanded uh, by the opposition at the time. There was some reluctance in government to, to do it, um, but the government acceded to the, to the demands from, from the opposition at the time uh, to establish the commission. Um, as it is a commission investigation, uh, it operates independently from government. It's a little bit like a court or a tribunal, and uh, we can't interfere in its work. The 30 million figure is an estimate by my officials, um, and that is based on the costs incurred to date. Uh, and the cost trajectory of other commissions of investigation, but we accept that it is an estimate um, and is only an estimate. Uh, in relation to the uh, time frame for reporting, the accountability of a commission for investigation is set out in the Commissions of Investigation Act 2004. The establishment of a commission is by way of a government order that's been approved in draft by both Houses of the Oireachtas. The order identifies a specified minister who is responsible for receiving the interim and final reports and for granting uh, any extensions of time frame and for other administrative tasks. However, as you know, both the previous Taoiseach and I uh, consulted with the Rochdus representatives at every stage where a decision was required in relation to IBRC. Uh, following a request from the Commission uh, in its fourth interim report, which I received on the 10th of June, I extended the reporting deadline to the end of this year. Uh, and I have no information to indicate that the Commission will not be met. So uh, based on this, we would, we would anticipate uh, another report uh, before the end of this year, and we'll see if that happens.